again to macOS10screencast.com. In the fourth part of our Scrivener tutorial series, we will take a look at outlining in Scrivener. I will explain how outlining can be done easier and what features Scrivener offers in this regard. I hope you enjoyed this screencast. Bye. I'd like to give you a very practical example here. This is my math, math thesis, which is really existing this way. It exists in a mind note document. And here you see that I have already created sub documents here in mind note. And my thesis is right here. Let me just expand this uh, mind note for you so that you can see its contents. You see, I've done a lot of work here already. The advantages of mind mapping for me are I can practically just start brainstorming without worrying about structure, collect on a kind of a blank canvas, get new ideas without worrying too much about structure. I can literally just start from scratch, getting new ideas basically, and then get to details. So for instance, if I have like this topic, Intello at Barcamp London, I can get to sub kind of documents, points with, uh, with the preparation for this particular project and location and all that sort of stuff. But I can also collect references like this web link, for instance, or I can collect this. Yes, this is a quote I have from Dennis Dutton's uh, speech about the Darwinian theory of beauty. Our next task is to bring this in a format Scrivener understands. Therefore, I click on the main node. Then I'll go to edit and copy this node to the clipboard. Then we go, or then I'll go to file and new to create a new main node. Uh, I'll delete the main node here because we don't need it. Then I'll simply paste the copied uh, mind node or the mind map. From here, we go to export this document to uh, another format. And the file format we choose is OPML. So we simply select OPML here and then click Save and have our OPML saved to disk. Now we need to import this OPML file into Scrivener. This is, can simply be done by, first let's create a new folder here. This folder I'll call thesis. Then I'll go to file, import files. From the file picker, I pick the OPML, then choose import. And you immediately see, because I'm in the outliner view, you see what Scrivener has just imported. Basically, we see the same structure we've seen in the mind map, but now displayed in an outline. All we have to do now is separate the references and the quotes from the real outline. We are not only limited to using mind node for exporting OPML files, other tools can export OPML as well. If you're on the Mac, you probably have heard of Omni Outliner, uh, which is able to edit OPML files natively. So if I just drag this uh, books and stuff entry up here and then go to file and save and it's saved as an OPML file on disk. You're not only limited to the Mac either. So for instance, if you're on an iPad, you might want to check out uh, Outliner or for the iPhone is Outliner another tool you could use to for editing, importing and exporting OPML files on your mobile devices on the go as well. In the next step, we have to sort out the ref reference and research material from uh, the real sub documents we really need. For instance, this web link. If I drag this web link directly to research, we have this problem that Scrivener thinks, thinks we want to create a new document containing this URL. That's not a big problem because there's a, there's a pretty easy workaround. So if I select this URL and go to edit, copy this URL to the clipboard, then select the research uh, entry, go to file, import, and then select web page. A new dialog uh, pops up uh, containing the copied uh, URL. 
Then when I click OK, Scrivener starts downloading this web page to the hard disk. In the next steps, I'm going to do this with all the remaining entries in our outline. So you see everything's much tighter now. We don't have as many entries anymore in our outline. And the research is filled with the research right where it should belong to. And we, now we can start editing our document. So what's still left in our outline though is the quotes. And rather than, I don't want to talk about these two entries in the section Intello at Barcamp. What I rather want to do is I want to talk or I want to answer those questions in that particular document. So we have to get rid of those entries as well. That's kind of easy because if I select the text, then go up here to edit and copy this text to the clipboard, then select the Intello at Barcamp entry again, and then click paste and match style, you'll see this uh, copied text is now edited or added to my document notes. Let me just quickly do this with the other entry as well. And then we can delete both entries from our outline. You'll see that when I continue doing this with the remaining entries, we will get um, our document to the final structure. And then the next step starts, which is writing. So as you've just seen, outlining can be pretty fun with a lot of help from other sites and Scrivener. The only downside, again, unfortunately, I'm not able to help you with your writing. This is something you have to do by yourself or still have to do by yourself. Until next time, take care. Bye.